So how do you keep going in hard times? If you're like me, it can be hard. You get weary of the stress or the burden. And sometimes if we're really honest, we just feel like quitting. I want to give you some encouragement that I hope will help you keep going despite the difficult times you're in. It's found in Psalm 84. Let me read it to you. This is verse five and six. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. So I want to tell you three lessons that I get out of this. Lesson number one is found in verse five. And here it is. Realize you're a traveler. It says to set our mind on pilgrimage. See, this is a mentality that life is a journey and that the spot you're in today will not be the same spot tomorrow. You can choose to put one foot in front of the other and keep on traveling. You see, this gives us perspective on our troubles that, ki- that come along our way. And here's the second lesson. You don't have to be miserable. <laughs> Did you catch that? You don't actually have to be miserable, even in hard times. Look at verse five again. It says, what joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Joy, it's a choice. Joy doesn't mean there isn't any trouble. It just means that you're going to trust God with the trouble. You're going to let God be God and only take responsibility for what is yours to carry. You don't have to be miserable, even in the middle of misery. Well, here's the third lesson that I see. Travelers walk, not run. Look at verse six. It says, when they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing spring. You know, we all face valleys of weeping in our life and we aren't meant to run through them, either by denial or avoidance. In fact, we are reminded here to simply walk. Put one foot in front of the other, Just take the next step forward, but keep walking. Why? Well, there's a promise that our valley of weeping will become a place of refreshing springs. And I love this. God has a way of taking our tears and our pain and turning them into something that helps others through their valley. It's this idea that because you are a little ahead of them, you can encourage them to keep going. Your presence and support will bring refreshment to them. So whatever you're going through, If it's a valley of weeping, realize you're a traveler, choose joy, and keep on walking. And while you're walking, look for ways that you can refresh and encourage others to keep going as well, because that's courageous living.